Hey guys, welcome to another Game Explained discussion. I'm your host, Andre Seegers, and we're again joined by Derek Binner to discuss the latest trailer for Mario Kart 8 from the latest Nintendo Direct. So let's get right into it. Alright Derek, so this was a huge day from Nintendo, and I think my personal favorite was Mario Kart 8, because it looks freaking amazing. <laughs> I don't know how they do it, every time they show off more of this game, it just looks better and better and better. And, uh, I, although I will say I was sold the moment I saw that the Koopalings are returning in... Or not returning, they are appearing in Mario Kart for the first time ever. Which is actually something I've wanted to see for basically since Mario Kart's been a thing. I've always wanted to see the Koopalings there, and they're finally getting their chance. Um, so before I ramble on about how much I love the Koopalings and that they're here, uh, what's your take on the latest trailer? Well, it's sort of funny to me, because in our last discussion, we talked about, like, who's new, what's new, what new characters could pop up, but we had all these suggestions and whatnot... And I don't know why I never thought about the Koopalings. Uh, I, and I don't know why I never thought about them, but because they they fit so well. I guess the, I guess the thing that always held me back from them is that there's seven of them. So it'd be like, how do you pick and choose? Because you can't just you just can't imagine putting imagine them putting all seven in because that's seven slots taken up. And the Koopalings, you know, they all sort of have their own personalities, but they're not as you know different as some of the other characters they put in, you know, barring, you know, between Mario and Baby Mario and that sort of thing. So, it just sort of blows my mind, I never thought about it, and the fact that they went ahead and did this is really cool. It's, a, it's you know, it's, it, it's it's good to see them looking outside the box, as it were. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I would so much rather the Koopalings and the dumb enemies they put in there before, like Wiggler in uh, Mario Kart 7, was it? Mm -hmm. um, like, in Queen Bee. It's like, no, forget those guys. You know, Koopalings is where it's at, and it, <laughs> and I am surprised that they went with you know the entire roster of, of Koopalings. Yeah. So that is great. Now, what did you think about the rest of the trailer? I mean, just in terms of like the the new courses they showed off, because I believe they showed off uh, three new courses we didn't know about, the four returning ones. Mm -hmm. Um. So what? Yeah. What did you think about how they all looked? General impressions. They look gorgeous. I yep. mean, these are some uh, brilliant looking courses uh i mean this the game just stands out it is so pretty it, it really is gorgeous like the game yeah. just looks great this i mean it just shows off what the wii u can do so well i love it um and as far as the courses themselves they look so inventive i mean there's you know the whole section where you're going up and down uh the waterfall which is you know brilliant and then the way they're treating the returning courses is also really cool because we saw with um uh the one mario circuit from uh, I think I believe Sir, Super Circuit, right? Uh, how you jump up and actually do have a small hovercraft section, which is really cool. I, le I love how they're bringing in these uh, old courses, but also making some changes to make them feel new. Yeah, because that game, you know, Super Circuit was entirely a two-dimensional game. I mean, there was no elevation changes, uh, mm -hmm. and it, it's cool to see that they are going back and you know retrofitting these courses with new elements. To fit, you know, Mario Kart 8's new gameplay mechanics, and that's awesome to see them take what is a flat course and make it into one of the tallest courses we've seen so far. <laughs> um, yeah, I think everything here looks great. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we, we saw, you know, e even the new tracks. I don't want to get too specific or too much too detailed into them um, because we're going to save that for the analysis and then perhaps a follow-up discussion. But everything we see, you know, just looks just so inventive. Like if you take a mm -hmm. Shy Guy Falls, which we, you know, which we thought was going to be a course based on our last analysis, and we can see it is in fact a course here. It just looks awesome. Then you have a uh, sub coaster with like these, um, uh, not quite half pipes, but, like these, uh, these loop type things you go up and around. You mm -hmm. know, it just, I mean, it really looks like these new courses, especially, are just, you know, taking anti gravity. Uh, to the extreme, and it's just lending themselves to some really creative course designs. I mean, this is how good the game looks. Uh, I mean, when we when we were watching the trailer for the first time, and I, you know, I've said before I've not played Mario Kart Seven, so I didn't know about the DK Jungle stage. So when I saw the Tiki guys running around, I'm like, oh crap! They actually did a Donkey Kong Returns level. That's all. That's so awesome. And you, in your, uh, <laughs> in your defense, like it's almost. I mean, even to me, briefly, it's almost unrecognizable because that course looks so much better than than it did in Mario Kart Seven. Like they just it amped is. up the visuals, you know, a ton. And even take TikTok Clock, which is originally in the DS version. This one here is insane in the details. Like hey, you can see gears in the background moving and stuff. It's they're mm -hmm. just going all out in their portrayal of um, even the retro courses. Like they are upgrading them more than than we've seen in a Mario Kart game before. Yeah, it's it's an it's incredible. And so I'm I'm I I, I want to see more. I want to see more. It's like May is feels so far away now because. <laughs> 
It's I can't remember the last time I was this hyped for a Mario Kart game. To be honest, like, you know, I've always maintained I want to see a Double Dash 2, and that's still true. This is the closest they could come to me being excited for Double Dash 2 without actually being Double Dash 2. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, this is the best I think I've seen a Mario Kart look in forever. I mean, since Double Dash, you know, like, this game just looks fantastic. Uh, and we're even seeing that with, like, even the vehicle designs look like they're just going... Just being really creative, you know, in how they're designing them as well. And I know, like you, you in particular, you know, really enjoyed um, how they look now, right? Yeah, there was some, there's something about them this time around. There's just the, the, even the vehicles have a lot of personality. Like the two that stood out to me the most during this uh, trailer was Yoshi riding around on the Wiggler uh, <laughs> which motorcycle is, which or is whatever. So it much is. more fitting than than him being a character. Like I like him as a motorcycle, not a character. <laughs> yeah, it just works. It's cute. I love it. And the other thing that's also really cool and cute is uh, Bowser riding in an airship cart. <laughs> it's like, how awesome is that? The only thing better is that they gave him his clown car <laughs> as a cart. Oh, yeah. And I think that actually was a cart in Mario Kart 7, wasn't it? Or something? <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds, it seems familiar to me, but I could be making that up. Really, just every detail about this game just looks like it has so much attention lavished upon it. Uh, which is something that... I mean, that I, like for the last few Mario Kart games, it felt a little bit lacking. You know, especially going off my cool bits for Double Dash, where you can see how all the levels were connected. And then you go to like Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart 7, and the courses just feel kind of bare by comparison. And it seems this game is just really stepping up in terms of detail. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. whether it's a vehicles or whether it's a tracks, like just every there's so much to see in every frame of this game. Yeah, decals, uh, uh, level bits. I mean, uh, I mean, there's a reason we know those those waterfalls belong to Shy Guy Falls, and you'll get that into that in the analysis. Exactly, so right. It, it's 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 I I, I gave a talk. I'm just that impressed by this game. Um, yeah, looking through it and seeing all the stuff. I mean, probably the level that stood out to me the most is um, the the one that um, sort of like has a almost a, a neon beat to it, like the the world is pulsing you're right. it's neon everywhere it just looks cool it's so it's such an interesting design and i just love it i mean it, it really takes advantage of the new um you know visual style of uh, how good the game looks it feels lively it feels like these mm -hmm. are these courses are real places with real things going on um as opposed to just being like a, a bear mall which is literally mm -hmm. the case in mario kart wii with a uh, mm -hmm. coconut mall um, yeah, yeah. Just, there's so many things happening here, and I am just stoked to to play more of this. Um, I guess the only other thing I want to touch on real quick is uh, we got we got to see a better we got a better idea of how the items are going to work this time, which we'll again delve into more in the analysis. But we already covered so much of it in the last analysis. I figured we talk about it here briefly, and that is we can see that the items will in fact work like they have in past Mario Kart games, where you know uh, they, they 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 like circle around you if you have triple of them. Um, or you can drag them behind you, for instance. But, you know, in the case, before you activate those items, the characters hold them. And in the case of, like, the uh, triple items that, uh, like, triple shells, we can see, like, I think it was Luigi in the trailer, or some character, actually <laughs> picks up the shell, you know, from their orbiting around them before throwing it. And it's just a cool little detail, I think, you know, that they're adding to the game. Once again, it just, you know, as you said, details. I mean, don't use up that little slot to say, hey, you have this item. It's just, there it is, in your hand. Yep. That's how you activate it. It's uh, good to go. And we even saw uh, how triple, I triple mushrooms will work. I mean, it's really, I mean... There seems to be a lot of thought being put into this game. So, uh, do you have any final thoughts or anything we didn't touch on in this discussion you want you want to mention? Well, I guess um, the big que I guess the question I would have for you is like, okay, we have the seven Koopalings now, which adding in all the other new characters we have so far, we have a roster of uh, the 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 same size roster as Mario Kart Wii. Right. Uh, and I don't think that's enough. I think we so, can still expect more. So how big do you think this roster will get? Uh, I mean, yeah, seeing as it is uh, the same size as Mario Kart Wii right now, I'm pretty sure they haven't shown everyone off yet. So I think this will be the biggest roster we've ever seen in the Mario Kart game. I don't even know who else I'd want to see, uh, even though I mentioned someone in the last discussion, I think. I can't even remember. Uh, I'm so happy with the Koopalings. Like, I'm completely just content now with, <laughs> with the roster as <laughs> is. And I'm, and I'm totally fine with the fact that the Koopalings seem to have maybe replaced Bowser Jr. <laughs> as being a character. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he'll show up. He probably will. I, they just probably didn't want to 
pull attention away from them by saying, oh, Bowser Jr.'s here too. Yeah, that could be. But uh, yeah, I'm totally content. How about you? Is there anyone else you'd want to see appear here that... I mean, I have the ones I listed off before, like right. um, you know, Nabbit. I've seen some people have some other good suggestions with uh, Professor E. Gad. I thought I never thought about him, and I was like, He'd that's be a fun perfect. One. He would be a perfect E. Gad would be really cool. He could do some creative stuff with his cards and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, there's there's still plenty of room to add more, and I hope they go all out. Let's, like, let's see the biggest roster ever yep. and have some interesting choices and do something different. I mean, I mean E. Gad is fresh in the minds thanks to Luigi's Mansion. Uh, they have, of course, Nabbit it, it fresh in the minds, and it's all these other choices they can go with. Um, what right now? I'm trying to think. Like, okay, we have all the Koopalings. Which one do I want to play as? <laughs> That's isn't that the question? Um, yeah, they all look. I mean, I've always been a huge fan of Koopaling, so but I'd probably have to go with Ludwig von Koopa over all the others. He's just always been kind of my favorite, and maybe Morton right behind him. But <laughs> um, how about you? <laughs> he, he always kind of stood out a bit, uh, he did. but. You know, so I would, I, you know, he was one of the ones I thought of, but I kind of, there's always been something about Roy Koopa that I've kind of liked too. So I think I'd probably choose him just because, I don't know, just something about the sunglasses and I just, he, he, he sort of stands out from the rest of them. So yeah, I think that wraps up our Mario Kart 8 discussion. I think it's safe to say we're both super excited for this. Uh, this is probably the game I'm actually looking forward to most. Like, even over Smash Brothers, I think. I'm, I want this game. <laughs> It's within sight, so we know it's coming. It's coming soon. Yep. And at this point, we just want to play it. Smash Brothers still seems like a far-off thing at this point, which we're excited for and definitely want to play, but with Mario Kart so much closer, the hype's just going there. It's a lot more real. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so yeah, that covers our Mario Kart 8, but stay tuned for our analysis coming up very soon, plus whatever Mario, other Mario Kart videos we pump out, um, plus probably a follow-up discussion where we got dive even more into more in-depth into the game based on our analysis. And of course, make sure to check out our other discussions and analysis from the Nintendo Direct. Just a whole bunch to cover. And you can follow it all at uh, our Facebook and Twitter pages at GameExplain, which you can find links to in the description below, as well as on our main homepage, beinggameexplain.com. So thanks guys for watching, and bye.